Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Modicky, and I am a Beverly Hills board certified plastic surgeon. And today I'm going to go over Pia Mia. Uh, we've had some requests about it, and I think there's some things we could talk about just in general, overall aesthetics, and what the younger generation is doing. I think there's definitely um, a trend toward uh, people, patients in general, intervening a little earlier, doing little touch-ups because there's a lot more tools in the toolbox now to adjust aesthetics and not necessarily anti-aging in plastic surgery, but more just aesthetics in plastic surgery. Um, and in her, uh, we have two photos here, one of her when she was in her teens and now one when she's in her 20s. And what's kind of changed in her face, what could be due to intervention surgically, non-surgically, uh, and what's kind of normal aging. And I think those questions always come up because people are like, oh, she's just lost her baby fat or, you know, there's no surgery here. It was just Botox or fillers or, and so there's some things you can tell in general about people as they age or, or their aesthetics that are probably more surgical in interventions than not. And in her, if we're looking at her um, when she's younger versus a little bit more mature, um, definitely we see those normal changes. We see a little bit of baby fat coming out of the face and, and the face becoming more mature. Um, and, and those, what are you looking for in that? You're looking for the cheeks coming in a little bit in that, in the buccal area and um, a more of a, a, an elegant, mature look versus that baby fat, chubby face. And I see some of those normal changes in her. As we've discussed in prior videos, that is something you can achieve if as you go through the normal aging process from your teens into your early 20s and you're supposed to lose that buccal fat pad a little bit to get that elegant look and you stay with those chubby cheeks. Uh, a buccalipectomy is something that's commonly done to contour that face and that effect, particularly in celebrities, you know, insta-famous people, people on camera a lot, because that camera adds weight, it's a very popular one because if they don't lose that weight, they look really chubby on camera and so a, a lot of, uh, even supermodels, pe people like that the want that contoured look, tend to do buccalipectomies to achieve that appearance. Uh, one thing that stands out right away is her nose um, and again, I think it's becoming more and more and more common for um, younger patients and patients overall to be doing their rhinoplasties a little bit younger. And I think the, the good news is I see a trend in rhinoplasty that's more natural, a little less aggressive, and more touch-ups. And I, and I like that as well so that people aren't going for the, the, the old extreme look, none of those piggies and puggies and all those crazy noses, not as commonly. Um, and so I like the fact that, that celebrities and people in general reining it in a little bit and going for that natural look. If we look at her nose, um, as I've said before, the noses, as we get a little older, don't tend to shrink. Um, the, you know, so if you see somebody's nose getting smaller as they're getting older, that usually means some kind of rhinoplasty was done. And in her case, we can see that her nose started out pretty broad, a little bulbousy. Um, her nostrils are flared. And then as we look at the picture now in her 20s, we can see that that bridge is brought in, it's narrowed, it's contoured. Her tip has been contoured and, and brought in. It's much less bulbous as well as the nostrils. The nostrils are thinner and much less flared. So I'm suspicious uh, for sure of a rhinoplasty as well as a nostril reduction. And you do that at the same time. So I think um, that's one thing definitely that's changed in her facial structure that would be surgical. Now the rest of her features, um, you know, she's done some other things, right? She's changed her eyebrows, her hair color, different things over time, and that's normal. Again, um, achieving a more elegant look, maybe some microblading, changing of the, of the eyebrows that adds that kind of nice curve and elegant look to the eyes. And if we look into her cheeks and her mid face, um, I think, again, the trend is that, that patients are intervening earlier with fillers, doing fillers underneath the eyes, doing fillers in the cheeks to give that cheek highlight look, um, you know, accentuating kind of this coming in and bringing that up is giving that heart shape to the face, um, that classic kind of OG beauty look to the face with the, the natural curves. And I think it's done very well here. I don't see anything here that's overdone, over plumped, over contoured. So I think that's a, a pretty look. I think it's, a, again, an elegant look that, that goes well with her, her facial features. And she has great balance in her face as far as perfect thirds from her brow to her mid face to her, to her lower face. And then, um, of course, it's very common for, you know, um, patients to be doing lip fillers, and I'm suspicious she's probably kept up a little bit with that. And that's a very common thing. I don't think it's overdone, so again, I think that she's done it right. Her upper lip is slightly smaller than her lower lip, and they're not overdone or over um, pouty and too big. So I think, overall, I think the look and the, tr and the change for her uh, aesthetically is, is a good thing. I think she, she looks very pretty, very attractive. Um, as well as appropriate for her age, not overdone, not over 
sucked in and not over plumped in the cheek. So it's nicely done, nice balance. And I think if she maintains this, she's gonna age very gracefully. And so I give her a thumbs up for, for looking good. So you obviously mentioned that Pia's young mm -hmm. and she's friends with Kylie, who's also young. Can you talk about what it means to do these things at a younger age? I think I tend to advise patients in the, you know, when they're younger in their early 20s, go for the non-permanent things. Maybe besides a nose, because the nose is one thing that, like I said, it's never going to shrink over time. If you feel you've got a big bump on your nose or it's bulbous, it's never going to shrink. So that's one thing, you know, intervening early, I think, not necessarily a bad idea because, um, you know, as you gain more friends and more social circle and people around you, more photos, people will notice a change, but if you kind of tend to do it a little earlier and, and celebrities tend to do it kind of right before they blast off because uh, then there's going to be tons of pictures of them everywhere and people are going to be like, hey, something's different. Um, so I think that that's something you can tend to do a little earlier. But as far as the other major facial surgeries, I don't necessarily like the idea of them doing too aggressive surgeries when they're really young because they're still maturing and they you know, may change their mind. So I think it's not a bad idea if they want to play with things like the, you know, fillers and threading and non-surgical things that aren't going to lead to permanent changes so they can see if they like it before they go and, and commit to a permanent thing. Like what's the youngest you could do a rhinoplasty? Most of the bony structure of the face, uh, for women, is actually a little bit younger than men, but most surgeons are going to stare around that 16 to 18 year old age range. A little bit younger for the, for the women and a little bit older for the men, or boys and girls. <laughs> and then also taking into consideration on an individual basis. Sometimes, you know, there's extremely large nose, but uh, and mentally, emotionally, uh, you know, evaluating how the patient is and how mature they are, you know, ready to handle a surgery like that. So I don't like to do it too young. You know, I, I like to stare at a little bit older. That age of getting into college and growing and maturing, I think is, is uh, like the age that's okay for me. I don't like to go too much younger than that.